Welcome to Daily Game, and we're going to start off with Overwatch 2, which added this gingerbread bastion skin, but instead of giving it away, it costs one Overwatch coin to get the skin along with a weapon charm that equates to a real world penny. Now this move to me just proves that Blizzard has been so greedy and predatory with their monetization of this game that it's impossible to look at this skin and not think that there's an ulterior motive behind it because why not just give it away for free? It makes me feel like they want players to spend that one coin to psychologically get people who have never purchased anything to get used to that feeling of buying something. And I know it sounds crazy, but I just don't trust that there isn't some scheme behind this move because they could have just given it away. Amazon Studios head of TV, Vernon Sanders, spoke about the upcoming God of War series and claims he understands that there's a passionate fan base and makes it seem like they're trying to stay as close to the source material as they can. Quote, what showrunners Rafe Judkins and Mark Fergus and writer Hawk Ospie have come up with for the first season and for the series, I think is both incredibly true to the source material and also compelling on its own. So we think it's going to be huge. Now, sticking to the source material in this case is a no-brainer. It reminds me of The Last of Us adaptation. Both of those teams really focused on a cinematic narrative, so straying too far from that would make no sense. But I'm still worried in terms of actually being able to adapt this game because of how grand it is, so I'm still expecting the worst, but hoping for the best. Goat Simulator 3 got in a bit of trouble with Take-Two Interactive when they posted a small video on Twitter from the perspective of an NPC that included early footage of GTA 6 from the leak that happened a few months ago. Now, you know, Coffee Stain's marketing team has been pretty clever when it comes to getting this game out there. First was the debut trailer that parodied Dead Island 2, and now this. And what's brilliant is they knew it would get taken down, but understood that the takedown itself would get them way more clicks. And it worked, because if this was just another ad, I nor anyone else would be talking about this. Genius. The UK Consumer Association called Witch has called on Nintendo to fully compensate users who bought replacement Joy-Con due to stick drift. Their internal lab tests point to dust and worn away contact points being the main issue. They have called on Nintendo to commit to commissioning an independent investigation, providing free of charge repairs or replacements for all Joy-Cons sold since its 2017 launch and provide compensation or a refund to anyone that can prove they had to buy a replacement Joy-Con. It's kind of crazy that in 2022, we're still talking about this issue and it's pretty apparent to any owner that it's a problem and on top of that, there's still a U.S. class action lawsuit happening that Nintendo's own president acknowledged when he publicly apologized. I, I feel like it was just this year. This is definitely one of the worst hardware failures probably since the Red Ring from Xbox. And since Nintendo already offers free repairs, they're already aware that this is a problem. And finally, we got to talk about the Activision Blizzard deal yet again. As the UK CMA claims out of 2,100 emails they received, 75% of the respondents claimed they were in favor of the merger. But there are at least 10 U.S. residents who disagree as they filed a lawsuit against Microsoft, arguing that the deal could substantially lessen competition or create a monopoly in violation of the Clayton Act. This is so amazingly stupid. Like, overall... This whole ordeal has been so ridiculous, but reading this story is just so outright dumb to me that these guys in you know one fail swoop crown themselves the kings of the Sony fanboys for suing Microsoft over this. I can't imagine this going anywhere. This whole deal will, in my opinion, will only lead to more competition. And I honestly just want this to end whether they buy or they're not allowed to buy i just wanted to end so we can stop talking about it and get on with our lives that's it for today like it if you liked it subscribe if you loved it check out the camp cody podcast every monday peace